Hello class aspirants, so here we are with our last minute revision vocabulary. The words which should be at the back of your mind while you are solving your passages because CLAT will offer you plethora of passages. Let's begin with these most important words. Yes, the words which are very important, some are very easy, some are very difficult, some are moderate. This is a mixture and amalgamation of these words. Let's start with the words for today. The first one, a very interesting word. I have also made a sentence for them so that you can understand that thoroughly. First, I take the meaning of the word, the word ostentatious. The word ostentatious means something which is showy, which is pretentious, which is conspicuous or it's obtrusive, flamboyant, you know, very gaudy and very shiny. You know, she was dressed in a very loud manner, very garnishing tinsel or brash, vulgar, extravagant, very fancy. Please see, when we say we honor she was very ornate it was a very decorative thing right that is the meaning of the word ostentatious please see the synonyms these are the synonyms and please see the sentence that we have made wealthy he may be but he hates ostentatious ways of living that is living in a typically middle class house with no maids wear simple kurta pajamas and he drives his own car that means some people don't prefer in spite of being rich what type of life yes ostentatious life moving to the next word reproach right we have the four hours very prom prominent in our offline and online classes student will speak one after the other yes reproach reprimand rebuke reproof and reproval make your five hours and in fact it makes it sick reproach rebuke reproof reproval or reprimand or remonstration this is upbraiding scolding somebody castigating chiding admonishing and giving a lecture to somebody see the idioms to hear a curtain lecture yes the second one that is yes to uh, you know took him to task and the next one face the music we all have to face the music of our parents if we uh, do not do our duties See the sentence, the self-reproach he felt over his wrongdoings made him feel sorry for his misconduct to the principal. That means he was scolded for his wrong action. Let's move quickly to the third word. Don't forget lambasting which can be used in the tone of the passage. See, vocabulary is the backbone of English. We can have a direct question on synonym or antonym or we can have it in the passage. We can have it in the tone or we can help it use it in our sentence completion or comprehending the passage too right because these are the bricks which make the wall strong and powerful moving to the third word denigrate denigrate is funny punk day that is uh, disparage somebody talk about somebody uh, belittle somebody you know in simple words if we use the word criticize chaffing or carping somebody You pick holes in someone, you belittle a person, diminish or depreciate. See, opposite of appreciate, you attack, I'm sorry, and you speak ill of somebody. That is denigrate. Funky Pank Day told the generalist that the media was playing the allegations against him only to denigrate his standing in the film industry. You know, people, you know, put false allegations just to spoil or denigrate your yes your personality maybe your character or your reputation right moving to the next word perfunctory very interesting and very important word perfunctory means just doing the namesake just doing a job or a work for no namesake it's superficial it's not in detail it's just for namesake right this is cursory desultory quick brief hasty hurried manner it's rapid in passing in a very fleeting manner you don't go in details most of the people in government jobs do their works in a perfunctory manner just for namesake superficial manner it's uh, just a uh, superficial and interesting manner you know you don't take interest in that but when you have it in private job you have a sword hanging on your head Democles sword won't you do your work in a perfect manner yes you're going to do that and so most of the people don't do their work in a proper manner in a cursory manner 
Casting a perfunctory look at the paintings will not let you appreciate the hard work that has gone into making them. You just have a look at the painting. By that, can you make out how much efforts a person has made to make that painting? No. So, you are just having a perfunctory manner, just the namesake. Moving to the next word, volatile. Volatile is just evaporating, moving away. That is something which is a uh, uh, evaporative manner, vaporous, vaporescent, explosive, eruptive, inflammable, unstable. Please note the word unstable. That is something which you cannot trust on, which is totally going to evaporate. Gujarat calls for extreme vigilance and on the part of the police and the citizens to prevent any recurrence of the bloodbath which had visited the state a couple of months back. You know, our life is volatile. What is volatile? Something which will is not long lasting. Something which is transitory. And very important word which is ephemeral. ephemeral right because we are mortally mortal fatal beings volatile is our life we are pilgrims on this earth next word buttress is the support that you give to a building you know that iron rods which are put in a building to give support to it it's a prop it's an abutment it is sure it's a pier it's a stay or reinforcement or a sanction given to something buttress provides the strength of the building so the scientist theory failed to win acceptance that she could not produce any evidence to buttress her claims regarding cold fusion that means she was not able to support her claims she failed in supporting her claims. It is not important the iron rods in the building only. There are many things, many evidences which provide support to a case. Right? Moving to our next quick word, I go through on of the word wondrous. Wondrous. What is wondrous? Wondrous is burdensome, something which is heavy, inconvenient, troublesome, awkward, crushing, backbreaking, oppressive, weighty, arduous or uphill strenuous something which is a very very difficult task is wondrous see the example of wondrous oh the wondrous task of learning many new words for a fresh graduate with dreams of becoming an mba that means it's a heavy task it's just like the burden of sisyphus yes the burden of sisyphus please note it's a very interesting work a work which is troublesome which is we would use the word from english that is vexing or troubling or burden of sisyphus right Moving to our next word in a quick go, equanimity. In exam, you need to maintain your equanimity, balance of mind. See the root that works in this, anim. Anim means mind or soul. Self-control, even temperedness, coolness, cool-headedness, presence of mind, your serenity, your calmness, your composure, very important. So, do not lose your equanimity, composure, balance of mind or tranquility, yes, while attempting clatter paper. This is, she showed equanimity even after listening to the criticism of a mother. That is that composure and your self-possession. This is not anybody else is going to give you. You yourself would have that composure or balance of mind. Moving to the next word that is venerate. Venerate is very important from the root rev. Rev means respect. You know, as we use in India, that is Mr. Swen. So, we use the Reverend James Maver Moral. Reverend Moral. So, this is respect word. This is used more for parsons and priests in England, right? It is revery, reverence, respect, worship, adulate, hallow, defy, you know, worship as God or idolize something that is venerate. We venerate all those people who play a pivotal role in our success stories. Those venerating a particular god must remember that the other gods, even if from other religions, are equally respectable. You must respect all religions and all gods. Venerate them. 
and moving to the word pristine. Pristine is the earlier stage. The beauty of one's pristine Himalayas has been spoiled by the mountaineering teams which leave tons of garbage and all away litter all around and destroy the beauty of that place. See the synonyms, the words immaculate, intact, natural, snowy, spotless, primal, purified, refined, sanitary, stainless, something which is not flawed, no defect, something which is untouched, untainted, unspoiled. Yes, the one word immaculate, pure, serene and simple. And we have the next word that is prevaricate. Prevaricate is something which is beating about the bush, not a direct manner of speaking. You just keep upon indirect manner of speaking, hedge on, fencing on, shuffling things, moving here and there. You are trying to, you know, you got very good marks in English, you try to beat about the bush. Yes, the two words we use for this that is periphrastic and circumlocution that is beating about the bush in direct manner of speaking you are prevailing uh, preventing yourself to come to the point we must tell him the whole truth without holding back anything because he has a habit of yes beating about the bush next word Truculence is a, uh, it's a kind of belligerency. Please note the root belly. Belly is warlike. Warlike, right? So it is belligerent, bellicose, contentious, hostility, combative, pugnacious. You are militant. You are rebellious by nature. You want to fight with people. That is truculence. Very important if you are the truculence are not like the truculent behavior of the film star made everyone set irritable, uh, made uh, the set irritable and everyone was in trouble. So, do not have that belligerent and bellicose attitude. That is a rebellious attitude, opposing things, wanting to fight pugnacious attitude of doing things. Moving to our next word that is goad. Goad means to insist somebody to do something. You provoke someone, you bring someone, you force someone, you instigate someone that you have to do this work for me. It was his father who supported him in his endeavors and goaded him to achieve laurels that is success. His father wanted him to attain success in his chosen field of activity that is forcing him. Please note the words vehemently. This action is done in a vehement manner. No? So, it is vehemently, it is urging someone, insist someone to do something, right? Fine. And we move to the last, next word that is strut. Strut is swagger, just moving here and there in a walking, in a very confident, arrogant, proud, haughty, arrogant, carrying a lot of airs, you know. She strutted past us, ignoring our greetings. You know, there are some people who just look at you and give you a cold shoulder, do not pay attention to you. Yes, those people strut, right? Because they walk in such an arrogant manner, the other person feels who are they? Why are they riding the high horse? That is the meaning of the word strut. Moving to the next word that is a disingenuous. Disingenuous is something which is dishonest or <coughs> underhand means of doing something. It is double dealing, two facedness, insincere or false thing. Please note the word mendacious. I have already warned him that disingenuous, wrong, dishonest ways will lead you to be Yes, maybe behind the bars. If you are deceitful, if you are cheating, if you are treacherous, you are doing some things in wrong way, you will lend into, land yourself into big problems. Yes, so avoid disingenuous, surreptitious, wrong, treacherous manner, sly manners of doing things. <coughs> Turning to the next word, a trophy. A trophy means uh, the polio victims that is uh, shrinking something, that is uh, declining from something. 
deteriorating or making it in a downfall manner that is atrophy polio victims need physiotherapists to prevent the atrophy of affected limbs that is the shrinking of the limbs the deteriorating or the uh, declining of the limbs moving to the next word the, that is insularity. Insularity is insular ways of doing things that is provincial, very narrow minded you are. You are limited thinking, short sighted and pettiness that is you do not want to focus on anything, you are limited in your vision and if you are yes parochial, if you are provincial, if you are narrow minded or short sighted, you do not feel that you will be fit in this society. Yes, it was because of his parochialness or narrow mindedness, he was not liked among the people. Right? These were the most important words for today and we will continue with a section of some important words. Do devote your 10 minutes every day to your vocabulary section so that you can do wonderfully. Right students for today. Thank you.